We'll handle this. We'll take the long way. Guys, what the fuck happened? Remember the days in which guys were guys, Jedi Knights were Jedi Knights, and manly men were manly men, and people with honor, dignity, integrity, standing for good against evil. That was a thing that was to be praised and imitated and strived towards. Well, it's kind of like not that anymore. No, we now have this thing where... Oh, okay. So let's talk about the new Star Wars, uh, the Acolyte 3. I saw the Critical Drinker video. I thought he was exaggerating when he said a bunch of, uh, of lesbian commie witches. No, they actually described themselves as, well, yes, lesbians and communists. They insist on that quite a bit. And witches. They call themselves witches. They say they're, making, they're doing a, a covenant of witches. Witches are not entirely a fantasy thing. There's people in this very real world that believe themselves to wield dark evil forces. There is evil shit in the world. That is not fantasy. That is not made up. Uh, there's people that do horrible things, hopefully trying to appeal to some dark forces, but the damage they cause... The, the pain, suffering, and yes, very evil things they do, all of that is very real. So let's talk a little bit about the Acolyte. And again, as the title says, this is not just bad. This is not just horrible crap in terms of TV, in terms of destroying Star Wars. It, it is all of that. But this is also very evil shit. So let's quickly go through the... Episode 3. I mean, you've seen all, all of the criticism of this. This is oh, this is just terrible. I mean, they just destroy, rightfully so. It is vomit-inducing stuff. Terrible. No one in his right mind could possibly find anything positive to be said uh, about the Acolyte, right? We, we kind of agree on that. But it goes beyond that. So we, we start with these... A commie lesbian witches living in, in in the hiding in the top of a giant ass mountain light up like a Christmas tree. So it is all so ridiculous. And we have Osha and May, the two super powerful, powerful, diverse female girl bosses that are learning to wield the uh, yes, this is the hideout, the, the damn thing in the mountain. Um so they are the most powerful female girl bosses ever, created by not the force, but by the the thread. The thread, which is what... Yeah, and here is the one of the many mothers. This is the land of many mothers. Oh, no, that's the other bullshit in Mad Max. Yeah, the land of the many mothers. What's this obsession with the many mothers? What's this obsession with hating men? What is, what's this obsession with not allowing a, a single... I mean, it all has to be against common sense, dignity, and so much more. Anyway, here we have the girl boss diverse mother with her girl boss diverse daughters. And here is the girl boss boss's lover, which of course she has to be white and she has to be weak and pathetic and have no self-control of any kind. She needs to be you know, basically ruled over by the, the more powerful, um, yes, this, this, you know, when you see these things, you have to imagine what kind of mind comes up with this. Would you let your children alone for 10 minutes with a person that wrote this? I will say no. I wouldn't leave my kids alone with, with this person, the person that wrote this, I w directed this, or whatever is involved in this, I wouldn't leave a child alone with this person for one second. Because you just can tell so much about what's going on here. So we have the, 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 the two lovers and the witch boss lady here. Um, yeah, she, she's blonde but with horns and elven ears. We see so much of this. 
God damn it, this is so terrible. And anyway, they wield the force. Oh no, sorry, the thread. Uh, and it is so poorly written, so lazy, so damn bad. Uh, Tolkien once said that evil cannot create. Evil can only corrupt. The perfect example of that is right in front of your eyes. They had to buy. They had to buy Star Wars. They couldn't come up with Star Wars themselves. Evil bought Star Wars, right? And then they corrupted into this. And the same thing happens now. It's not the force, it's the thread. But again, so poorly written, incapable of any creative idea of any kind. And the witch boss, commie lady thing here starts preaching about how some men out there in the universe that don't accept us for what we are they call us dark and evil which we which we are yes we're a bunch of uh, horrible witches but you know it's a matter of opinion more on, more on good and evil later which is kind of subjective if you're evil if you're good it's really up to debate if being evil is really bad or being good is really being good that's kind of not all that important but yeah the thread, not the force, is uh, sometimes some, some try to wield it instead of, and then she goes and wields it. She uses it like a like a kamehameha from fucking Dragon Ball, but just so as to show how much of a girl boss powerful she is, she uses it against these two other diverse uh, kami lesbian witches. Yes, it's just two of them at the same time. That's how powerful I really am. It's going to be questionable how powerful you really are when all of your covenant gets destroyed in just a matter of seconds by bullshit fire. But hey, yeah, let's take this. Here we have the 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 lover of the... So, I mean, imagine how horrible it must be to say, okay, yes, we're doing Star Wars. Bring me people. Yes, yes, all, all women, because we have this uh, lesbian covenant of commie witches. We don't really want, I mean, we're doing all female, but we don't want white people here. I mean, there's going to be one, like the lover of the of the black boss witch, and, and she has to be white and weak and pathetic. Uh, but the rest, uh, bring me people that are, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more color there. We don't want white. White is, is better. What kind of twisted evil mind even comes up with that? Imagine the conversations. Imagine Disney. Imagine all of these people sitting around a, a table in a, in, in a conference talking about people in this way. This is the most racist, disgusting display that I can't imagine. And this is what they did. But hey, we're used to this already. And that's what they want to do. They want to get us used to this kind of crap, right? There you go. Some more now. That and the two girl boss little lead characters, May and Osha, they are the, the most whiny, insufferable kids I've seen, even in a movie, even in a even in a half an hour TV show, constantly bickering, bitching, crying, and fighting among themselves. The worst race kind of of children you could possibly think of. That's what we see from these two in, in in this time, in this in this episode. That is kind of very real, the way in which some of the more deranged people end up raising their kids. So yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then we have more of this crap about how uh, one of them wants to be a witch and the other one does not want to be a witch, but the mother or boss lady there says you, you have to be a witch even if you don't want to be a witch because they hate us and yes being a witch is awesome it, it all sounds a lot like well you know they're doing the gr ooming of the hair and it all sounds and looks more more of this crap dear god it is all very gr ooming all over they are gr ooming children non-stop this is not only what they do on the Acolyte. This is not just about episode 3. This is what they do in general. Disney is a very real company. Star Wars is not real, right? 
it matters though for a lot of people that are invested in this. They love the idea. I mean, I'm pretty much of a a Star Wars fan myself, so I don't like to see it destroyed like this. I think it's a, a very interesting idea, something that was created by bright minds and, and a guy that had a vision of something that would be super cool. And going back to this thing, going back to Star Wars, real Star Wars, not the corruption that ends up happening once it falls in the hands of evil. No, this, this was badass Star Wars. These guys... This was Star Wars. That was cool. That was what Star Wars was really all about. Not this shit. GR Room and kids. And promoting the message. Not just in the fantasy realm of the TV series. But Disney does this for real. They get involved in politics. You see what's happening with them in Florida. What's been happening all along. It is the idea of normalizing this kind of thing for children. Why the fuck is it that a bunch of lesbian commie witches are so desperate to keep control of these children? Why is the obsession with children in general with them? Why? What is it that... Well, we know what it is. We know exactly what it is. We don't like it. And you know why? Because... The bullshit that they talk about here, the magically creating of children, you don't do that in the real world. In the real world, you gr um real children from people like me, from probably people like you. And they do it through the education system. And they do it through their supposedly harmless children content that fucking Disney is supposed to do. That's when you understand why they own Disney. That's when you understand why they bought Disney. That's why you understand why this message is fucking everywhere. You cannot find a family-friendly movie anymore. does not exist. I have a family. I have little kids. I have older kids. I have grown-ass son. But this is everywhere. Even in a, in a family-friendly comedy, like... No, it's not like a PG-13. No, something that's for everyone, they will still throw this crap in there. And hey, you, you cannot say anything about it because, hey, this is perfectly normal now. We will just pretend that the bunch of crazy witches are... Yeah, th this, is, this is fine. This is good. You know what's not good? Jedi Knights. Knights. Noble people with principles. The people that defend... Those that are being attacked by evil forces. Those are the bad guys. Not the evil fucking witches. There's and it's so... I mean, all of this crap, all of this thing... So twisted, so messed up. They even start cackling. You know, cackling. Ah! Like that sort of thing. Like what you see in horror... Witches have never been good. Yes, you have the Harry Potter magic wizard. Right? Oh, wizards and witches. Yes, sure. But... In, in this kind of lore, in this uh, traditional folklore thing regarding witches, witches are fucking evil. They are the ones that you know use the evil forces. You know, the, the, this is the op this is the complete opposite of good. This is as basic good and evil as it gets. You have the the knights we, that use lightsabers, and you have the evil fucking witches that use dark forces. And they are preparing children for ascension. <laughs> they are so basic. They lack so much creativity. And here we have, they even, and they have weapons, but no, no violence. And then one second later, yes, we will cut your, your head off and your tongue off. And the same, at the same time, we have the, the Jedi Knights that went from, from being Jedi Knights and went from being this, you know, these guys, badass tough, strong dudes uh, that keep their cool but know how to fight and are super physically capable. We went from that for, to this weak, weak shit. The old woman pretending to be a strong figure, then the same one that said she would not use violence, basically throwing the poor Padawan here into mental hell, all of his eyes going black, like, yeah, like demon possession. Yes, Dem this, this demonic possession, guys. The same. There's so much contradiction 
all the time, everywhere. It just shows how much they lack in terms of creativity. I go back to what Tolkien, wise man, smart motherfucker Tolkien, evil cannot create, it can only corrupt. And that's what you see here in the Acolyte. That's what you see from Disney. That's why they have to reuse what the company once used. When the company was once really about doing content for children, about cartoons, about Mickey Mouse, about all of that, well, no, now it uses all of that for their evil purposes. So yeah, that's when the, she goes for the demonic possession, black eyes and all of, yes. And, and then she has a conversation about how... Yes, you can be anything you want. If you want to be a, a Jedi Knight, you can be. And then five seconds later, she says, no, no, actually you cannot. We'll take it into consideration, but I have to meet with my council of witches who will say that, nah, you, you, you cannot be a Jedi Knight. All of this disgusting, several times telling children the uh, evil, no, oh, sorry, the uh, communist lesbian witches tell their children to lie to the adults in this thing about what they see. Lie. Several times they're being told to lie to those that are looking after them. It, this is GR Ooming at, at its peak. This is peak GR Ooming. Um, again, weak, pathetic. That's what knights are now. But there is a part here that I don't even want to put it because I'm sure I, we'll get, you know, copyrighted all over this. But the 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 black girl boss, she says it's not about it, the, what I think that Osha says. But Jedi Knights are good, and, and she says no. But it's not about good or evil. It's about power. You know, good and evil doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if we are evil and they're good. No. This is about wielding power, the power that we were just talking about not wielding. But hey, we contradict ourselves all the time, so who gives, gives a damn. And then we have the most pathetic scene where these twins that are being raised by an entire fucking community of kami, which is lesbians, that are, is, these are the only two children that they are, I mean, I have more children, I have raised more children than this entire society of powerful wizard lesbian commie witches and yet they fail not only are they misbehaved they just behave like spoiled brats they get physically attack one another at the peak of the moment when one of them says i want to go with a jedi knight she says i'm gonna i'm gonna kill you she just says that out loud i'll kill you and she basically does that so she steals the color book from one of from from the Osha one May steals the color book, burns it, throw it to throw it to the ground, and as you see, it is all fucking rock and steel, and yet it catches fire. And then, ten seconds later, I kid you not, the entire burn the entire mountain basically explodes, and the witches, the powerful witches, are all dead, all dead. None of them survived. None. They all died. I don't know. I. I mean, I don't even, what is it? They spray like bug repellent, like like kami bug repellent over the, the, the witches and they all died. They all died like ants. I mean, there's a little bit of fire. This is so lazy. They needed to have some explanation by which they all died. How the hell is it that some of the most powerful creatures in the universe, because apparently they don't even fear uh, Jedi's much at all, they feel that their use of the force, I mean, the threat, it is overwhelmingly powerful for the bunch of the covenant. Again, words they use themselves. The covenant of witches use the force or the threat in, in a way that is surprising. They have extreme power. Yet, because a little girl burned a couple pages in a mountain made of stone, they all fucking died. <laughs> there, there's no logic to this. Again, so lazy. They just needed to have something that kills them all, and they just died because, we don't know, something exploded in two different places at the same time, but I don't know. It makes no sense. But again, this is beyond just a bad show. This is a very perverse, this is a very evil agenda that they obviously are pushing very hard for. And we have to be careful about these sort of things. This is not, this is not a 
this is very serious. What they are trying to do, what Disney is not just trying, what it's actively doing with every single thing they do. They obviously don't care about money. I mean, you think they learn by now. When I, when I watch Critical Drinker, right, and, and he says, oh, this one lost so much money. Haven't you figured it out already? Don't you know who owns Disney? They don't care about money. They make money themselves. They literally print money themselves for themselves and for the rest of us in case you haven't noticed and that's a topic for another discussion but the people that are behind all of this are the ones that make the money you and i use that's who we're talking about that's who's using disney that's the people that through disney bought a much loved ip and corrupted it in the most evil way you can do something like this so as to promote a very specific, very, very messed up message so as to have an impact on society. And you don't do this just by doing it once. You need to repeat it. It's repeat it. Hit you over the head for 20 years until you change the culture. Until you change the idea of what's good and evil. Until you change the idea of who should be raising children. Where's the father? This one asked. And there's, no, there's no father here. We're just a bunch of, uh, of evil uh, witch commie lesbians. That's what we are. And we're the ones handling children now. And you are the evil ones that now try to look after children. We are the ones that should be uh, gr uming children into what we want for our own nefarious purposes. Guys! Stay alert. See you next time. Have an awesome day.